Good day to you. I'm Pastora Rose and welcome to Jesus Our Healer. Today, we want to encourage you by reading some of the promises of God regarding healing. To start with, let's read Isaiah chapter 32 verse 8. My people will abide in peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, it says here, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And also in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6, Be strong and courageous, do not fear or be dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. In Joel chapter 2 verse 21, Fear not. O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord God has done great things. And in Psalm 30 verse 2, O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. This time, we want to encourage you that there's no need for you to be afraid of, because we believe that God is our healer, and as we have the assurance that we are healed, God can also give us His peace. Join me right now in praying. Father, we thank you so much, O God, that you are our good and our gracious God. And Father, we pray for your people, O God, who are so full of fear right now. They're so full of fear, O God, that some of them are restless already. Some of them cannot even sleep at night, O God. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name, let your peace that transcends all understanding guard the hearts and the minds of your people. Father, wash away, God, every worries, every fear, O God, and allow them, Lord God, to receive peace that transcends all understanding. Lord, we lift up to you your people, O God, who are sick in their bodies right now. We thank you so much, O God, that by your wounds, they are healed in Jesus' name. Some of them, Lord, are in their homes sick. Some of them, Lord, are in the quarantine facility. Some of them are in the hospital. Father, we believe that you can visit them wherever they are, O God, and you can send forth your word to heal them. So, Father, once again, we come to your presence, O God, and we ask, O God, let your healing flow and let your people experience peace, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. At this time, I want to encourage you to join us in worship with this beautiful song that Sister Bev herself created. Jesus, you are my peace and you are my healer.
Indeed, Jesus is our peace and He is our healer. We believe that even at this moment, God is already removing all those fears, all those worries, and God is also allowing you to experience His mighty touch of healing and miracle. Join us once again tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. God bless you. Jesus, our healer.